Identifying leaseholders in an AOI and offset leaseholders is an important task for a land team. The only way that you can accurately identify current leaseholders is if you're working with a data source that picks up assignments and change those assignments forward. Assignments are one of the many oil and gas related documents that IHS Market picks up monthly. So the first thing we're going to do is select our location. For this example, we'll pick Loving County. So the first thing I'm going to do is select location and then state county. We'll tell it Texas and Loving. IHS Market currently has fee lease data on nearly 270 counties and we're adding more each month. In the Permian, the fee lease data has eight plus years of lease history and our federal and state data is a complete historical file. So what happened here is that the results of our query are displayed in this magenta color. So right now we can tell we're looking at about 3,500 fee leases in Loving County. So now what we can do is select this icon right here and we'll be able to generate some reports. So let's create a leaseholder frequency report. And when this is ready, it will appear in our user outputs. So now we can open this report and we can see that Anadarko is a major player out here, followed by Sweppy. Chesapeake and Silverhill have some leases as well. And we continue scrolling down and get the complete breakdown of the leasehold position in Loving County. Since we're picking up the assignments, you know you're looking at current leasehold positions as well. So another thing we can do is continue to build on this query. So we knew that Anadarko is out here, there's Sweppy, but there's some other players as well. So let's take Simrex, for example. So we can come back into Land Studio and click this plus, and we can change this to fee. And these are all of the other attributes that we can query on. So let's go and select current let's see, and we'll tell it Simrex. And we can see that Simrex has 112 leases here. Now a common thing is identifying offset leaseholder positions. So to do that, the first thing we'll do is place a geographic qualifier and we'll stay in this particular area of Loving County. And now we're going to go into the table of contents and we'll turn on some of our lease layers. So now what we can do is use this toolbar on the right hand side and I'm going to select this tool right here. And we can pick this area because it looks like Simrex has a pretty consolidated position. So now what's going to pop up is a line that says fee lease and we're going to get a number there. So we can see within that box there was 381 leases. So let's see the leaseholder frequency report for these 381 leases. And again, this one will be ready in our user outputs. So we can see that Oxy has a pretty big position out there. We knew that Simrex would be out there. There's Anadarko, Chesapeake as well. So what you can do is go back into your query. And then if you wanna see where Chesapeake's leases were, So now again, in the magenta color is the Chesapeake leasehold position in Loving County. And you can also do spatial exports and bring the query results directly into ARC or other mapping programs. You can always further refine your search by adding in a date range to see more recent leasing activity. So by using your query engine in combination with the table of contents, it's a very quick and easy process to identify who's active in a given area and determine offset leasehold positions as well.